We are going to do a problem where a change in the rate is required because the IV has gotten off track. Whether or not we can make that change all depends on how much of a change it is. We may need to talk to the doctor. So as we read the problem, we're going to fill information into the chart below. And the chart is just an organizational tool to help us make sense of all of the information that's in this problem. So let's get started. First thing I read is that it's an IV of 1,000 milliliters. So that is the ordered volume. It's to infuse in 10 hours, so that is the ordered time. The drop factor is given here. That's important information. It was started at 4 a.m. And at 1020, you find that 400 milliliters have infused. All right, so if it, the milliliters have infused, they've left the IV bag and are in our patient, so I want to subtract them out. And that would give me a remaining volume of 600 milliliters. Now the time. So it didn't really tell me here, but I have 400, 4 o'clock is the start, 1020. So I'm going to count on my fingers. 5 a.m. is 1 hour, 6 a.m. is 2, 7, 8, 9, 10. So from 4 o'clock to 10 o'clock is 6 hours. And then there's these additional 20 minutes. So this is the amount of time the IV has been running. And the IV was supposed to run for a duration of 10 hours, so I want to take the 10 hours and subtract out the 6 hours, 20 minutes. So in my head, I'm going to do 10 minus 6, which means that that would give me 4 hours. But then I also have to subtract out those 20 minutes, so really I'm taking 4 hours minus 20 minutes. Well, we know we can't subtract when we don't have like you labels. So I'm going to take this 4 hours times 60, because of 60 minutes in an hour. So this is 240 minutes, and then subtract my 20 minutes, and that is going to give me 220 minutes. Now, that would also be equivalent to 3 hours 40 minutes, so if you were thinking in hours and minutes, you could have written 3 hours 40 minutes here as well. In this problem, the ordered rate is not given, and the remaining rate is not given. So let's start with the ordered rate. We know that we're going to give 1,000 milliliters over the span of 10 hours, but we want it drops per minute, so we know 1 hour is 60 minutes, and we know that milliliters needs canceled, and we can do that with our drop factor, because that tells us about the tubing on the IV. So there are 15 drops to 1 milliliter. And that cancels the milliliter and gets us to drops. I'm ready to go to my calculator for that. So I have 1,000, and then that's times 15. It's divided by 10. It's also divided by 60. All right, so the original IV was set to run at 25 drops per minute. So now I want to figure out, with the time remaining, with the volume remaining, what rate would we have to work with? So this time we want 600 milliliters. And we want that running over 220 minutes. Well, I'm lucky. I'm already in minutes, so I don't need to convert minutes to anything. I still need to cancel out the milliliters. Still using the same tubing of 15 drops per milliliter. And so I'm ready to go directly to my calculator. And so I have 600 times 15 divided by 220, and that gives me 41, when I round to a whole number, drops per minute. So that gives us this recalculated drop per minute rate. Next, it asks us to find the percent change. So I know that that is to take the new minus the old, so the new rate would have been 41. The old rate is 25, 
divide by the old rate of 25 and multiply by 100. Now just intuitively, that looks like it's going to be more than the 25% allowed, but we'll do the math. So 41 minus 25, get my equals there. So 16 is the change, divided by 25, and times 100. So this is a 64% change. My course of action, well, that is greater than the 25% change that we're allowed. So we're going to consult with our doctor and see what he wants, he or she wants us to do. And so we've solved out this problem using the chart as one of our tools.